So just cut it. Cut it. Yes. That was beautiful. Look at this huge green candle, which is appeared like that. And uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That was just a second. Hi guys, my name is Anna. I hope you know that. But if you don't, I have my Telegram channel, which is completely free and we trade together right there on binary options. I have 12 signals a day in my Telegram channel. So just proceed, check it out and let's go. Hi guys, I hope you know that. That me, Anna, just right there for trading on the quarter platform. We're gonna be using strategies. We're gonna be using our knowledge just to learn and earn something. So, we're gonna start. And guys, we are right there, just chilling a little bit and trading a little bit, combining all of that. Starting with the 515 and currency pairs with the fifth. Because stay out. Um, let's add some stocks, but unfortunately payouts a little bit less. But anyway, not a big difference. 10 seconds, which I hate, and you know that, but still using it, um, just because it's a little bit more complicated. And we're gonna be starting with this demarker thing and just fixing all of it. Maybe let's copy. Maybe with the colors, you can stick to yours, but with the periods, I just do recommend copy and try it. RTI is the second one. Um, this is gonna be it. And the third one is the fractal. So two below chart, two and one is right in chart indicator. Sorry for my presentation because I'm still a little bit sick. And anyway, I feel much better and I am so back into that trading. Let's start. Okay, isn't that just the peak situation? As we love it as we want it, look at this demarker and RSEI. We are lucky they're completely and totally combined. You, can, you may see that there is a little bit more flat, less reacting, and the marker is a little bit waving more. But anyway, it seems like the peak situation, and you may see that before we have this pattern, and that's the reach. So we may just follow that pattern. So that was the tiny peak, and then the, a little bit, just a little bit short, and that's the main problem. Short period of getting downward. So I need that. Maybe that's not a peak. Maybe the peak is just lying ahead. That's good. That's good because if that previous one would be the peak, yep. We were already on the other, another peak. We, yeah, you may see that we just following it. We just following it and I need this time yet to be on my side, to be so correct, to just cut it. Cut it, yes. That was beautiful. I think that's kind of the same situation. We're just gonna raise it. We leave a little bit in case there's something going on wrong. And that's the fractal giving us that the peak. So I think it's a little bit look-alike situation right there. Oh my God, that was too fast because we have still 40 something seconds left. And um, if we are just falling that fast, that means we can grow also that fast. That's bad, but we're not gonna be losing our hopes for the profit. Let's see. How lucky we are because this downward trend just, uh-huh. No, that, that, that was the long one. That was the long one. And you may see that out of all this indicator strategy, we can see what's gonna be actually quite soon. I'm not sure that we can actually guess, read or understand what's gonna be in a minute, in a five minutes with these type of indicators. And just as I told you, look at this huge green candle, which is appeared like that fast downward trend means it may be the fast upward trend but the timing was perfect and how about this one i don't know it seems like easy i'm not making that for 
I don't know for purpose, just looking for some nice situations and turn it on the camera. Um, that's the bottom. We're gonna be rising. You can see that the demarker and the area here are giving us that that image that we're gonna be right there and you may see that with this type of indicator if i'm being honest sometimes even if you see it's flat but it's located in the lowest part of its own chart that also can mean that it's gonna be defaulting and don't trust that flat lines you know like blind don't be blind don't be misguided by it but right there, it's kind of stable and okay. So we're gonna be just waiting for that going to go pure, fast, upward, because we started to play, yes. You can see, and I think that's the problem of this 10 seconds candles. It's a little bit too fast. And sometimes you just like, mm -hmm. you just have it like that. And, oh my God, oh my God, that was Jiggy Second. Okay, mm, that's the peak. I'm sorry, but that's the peak. It's kind of nicely working. The indicators, the chart today. I don't know. It's, it's. I can say that the market is kind for me today. I like that. I love it. So let's check it just at the end. It's been testing me. You can see that we had this. Oh my god, rapidly green candle, which is just a period. And we are a little bit also on the green candle right there. No, yes. <laughs> oh my god. And you can see the distance between the candles because the movement are just like it's jumping, the market is jumping. But that was just on our side. The common and the big tendency were to get downward at that point, and we were so correct about that. And one more. Maybe this one is not so easy, readable, not so stable because it doesn't seem like the peak, it doesn't seem like the bottom, maybe closer to the bottom. But you can see that the RSI and the marker lines are kind of in between, or uh, just in the middle of its own chart. And right there also, you can feel it from the chart. And being in the middle, being flat, that's the risk because there is the high chances we can go downward, we can go upward. And right there, I must say that maybe we, we needed something like the zigzag or the super trend. Maybe fractal was also okay. Just to see the big and the common tendency, what's going on in the whole chart. Not with the candles that we can observe right now, but with the whole chart. And the marker and the RSI kind of nice also, but at the moment when I was making that bad, that wasn't so clear. Now it's actually easy. So any doubts, are you crazy? That's kind of visible. That's easy and clear but that's just right now before when i was making that bad that was just a hint that was just a feeling yeah that was just a thought and that's done and that's finished the market was fine maybe that was just the luck maybe that was just the stable I don't know how to say that, but that was just nicely working. I do recommend that strategy, but you may see that it's like, this strategy is kind of maybe for the concy, you know, when you don't have any storms or anything like that. Just when it's all calm, all quiet, you can go with that strategy and quietly, peacefully get your profits with, I don't know, familiar and known situations. And you just leave.